The purpose of this experiment is to determine the molar mass and densities of a variety of gases using the effusion technique. The first step is to adjust the water level to the bottom of the tape. This is important because during the experiment, water might spill out of the graduated cylinder. The same amount of water must be present at all times so that the hydrostatic pressure is the same for every run. The effusion apparatus has two stopcocks. The first stopcock allows gas from the source to flow into the apparatus and prevents gas from escaping through the fill tube during a run. The second stopcock opens the apparatus to the small hole that the gas will escape through. To start, open both stopcocks. Attach the fill tube to the gas source. Hold the stopper in place at the top of the apparatus to prevent it from flying off if the gas pressure is too high. Very slowly, partially open the valve to the gas source. The gas should fill the glass tube slowly and then bubbles of gas will be released into the water surrounding the tube. The goal is to saturate the water with the gas and not lose any water out of the top of the graduated cylinder. After approximately 20 seconds, close the stopcock that leads to the effusion hole. Continue to bubble the gas through the apparatus for one minute. Switch off the gas and immediately close the stopcock associated with the inlet gas. You can take your hand off the stopper at this point. Check to make sure the water level is not moving. If it is moving, tighten the stopcock nuts and firmly press the rubber stopper into the apparatus. Check the water level again to make sure it is not moving. You may have to refill the gas in the tube if the water level is above the lower constriction. When ready, open the stopcock to the effusion hole. Start the stopwatch when the water level is even with the lower constriction. Stop the stopwatch when the water level reaches the upper constriction. Record the time to the nearest one hundredth of a second. Repeat the process until there are three runs that are within 0.2 seconds of one another. It is not necessary to saturate the water with gas until a new gas is used.